Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. In the last episode, we added on the applique Peter Rabbit text onto our strip which goes under the central panel applique. I have since added on the cream spot fabric on either side and also the end patches as well so we've got one long strip. The reason why I've done that is to prepare for our foxglove applique on either side of the text and to line it up with the rest of the quilt. I've also stitched around our text which we appliqued last time and I've ironed on the other mini beasts. So this strip here is ready for our next episode when we add the right side applique. I've also stitched together and pieced together the two last rows of the bottom of our quilt. I haven't followed the pattern as the Peter Rabbit patchwork quilt is meant to look as I've used my own fabrics and designs to add more balance I had to mix and match them so our bottom two rows are ready to go and now for the big one I've got the top three rows of our quilt sewn onto our central panel applique with the six side panels on each side. They're not lined up perfectly. It is very rustic and a little bit wonky donkey, but I think it's got a lot of character. The reason why we need to attach our side panels onto the central panel applique is because when we do our foxglove applique next time part of the applique goes over some of the, our squares which are next to the central panel applique. This was a bit tricky to sew together as I've only got a regular sewing machine, no long arm, no quilting machine, and I found that it had to, I had to roll it up to fit it through the arm as I was stitching. Which brings me next to our central panel applique, side panels, and our Peter Rabbit text. The next thing that I need to do is to stitch this length onto the bottom of our central panel applique. I'm going to be doing that not on camera but at my leisure. All of these took days and days and days and days to stitch all together and I ended up in the kitchen as the craft room's way too small. So in issues number 79 and 80 of the Peter Rabbit patchwork quilt, as well as the templates for our foxglove applique, they also explain to you how to stitch the side panels onto the central panel applique. We were only meant to stitch down, I think the two panels, but I did the lot. Stitching this all together made me very nervous. I'm not the most perfect sewer and I'm also a bit of a beginner still. So I'm really happy with how it's turning out so far. I hope you are having success piecing your quilt all together. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. And in the meantime, I'm going to be stitching this length onto the bottom of our central panel applique. And I'll see you next time when we begin our right side applique. Until next time, bye.